In this tutorial, you will get to know how to set up the function blocks of the Trio 3 IOL library in PLC Next Engineer. In the first step, please download the Trio 3 IOL library on the Phoenix Contact website. Search for the product on the Phoenix Contact website. You will find the device description under Downloads. You can also download it in the PLC Next store. To import the library, please open PLC Next Engineer. To generate a project, choose the correct PLC that you also use in practice. In this case, Phoenix Contact Axioline Controller 2152. Now you can add the user library into your project. In the next step, search for an IOLink master in the component library on the right side. In this case, AXL SE IOL4. Drag it into the Axioline F in the project structure on the left side. Free spaces in the Axioline F, in this case 3, must be filled with AXL SESC modules. Search for AXL SESC and drag them into the free spaces in the Axioline F on the left side. Now the IODD must be connected to the IOLink master. In this case, AXL SE IOL4. You can find the IODD on the network and PS303 IOL1 on the right hand side. Click on the power supply and drag it into the IOLink master. Or click on Select Type here and select the IODD. Click on the power supply. Under Parameters, you will find the startup parameters, which is set up every time after the startup of the PLC. Under Settings, you can disable the AOLink startup parameters. You will find a detailed list of all configuration and accessible data in the product user manuals. Now we can create two variables for the input and output process data. Select for Usage External. After that, we can connect the variables to our 303 power supply. Click on Data List and select your input and output variable. Now we can create the other variables for the function block. You can find the function blocks under Programming and PS303 IOL1. Click on the function block and drag it into the project. Connect the variables to the function block. Now everything is ready to write on the PLC 
and to start our project. Enter the username and password to authenticate with the controller. Activate the function block. Now the function block is ready to use. You also have the option of viewing your data via the Trio3 web server. Click on HMI web server, add a new HMI page and set it as startup. On page settings, you can change the size of the page if you want to. Under HMI on the right side, you can find two HMI symbols for the function blocks. Click on the HMI symbol and drag it into the HMI page. Go back to the variables and select the activate and utd visu c4 variable as HMI. Now you can connect the HMI symbol to the function block. To simplify the whole process, you can add an activate button to HMI page and connect it to the activate variable. Now everything is ready to write on the PLC and to start the project. Activate the function block. Now the HMI is ready to use.